Hello, this is Sherry Sains. I want to introduce you to the catalog, which is the blog where I have cataloged my research about 18th century American women's caps. I went to uh, 11 different museums. I saw more than 100 caps. And of those, I decided that a about 15 or 18 of them really are from the 18th century. And I describe each of those on this blog and tell you about my research and what I think I've learned. So I'd like to take you on a little tour of the catalog. First, let's start with how this is a little bit different than most blogs. On most blogs, the latest post is what's interesting. Some of the other posts might be a little interesting for a while, but they quickly go out of date. And it's like layering on top of um, old stuff and all you want to read is the new stuff. This blog, think of it more like a book. And as time goes on, I've been um, editing and making better every page. And I do continue to go back and edit. I'm not going to be adding much more, but I am continuing to edit and refine what is already here. Some of the pages are uh, summaries, uh, general information, um, broader kinds of ideas about what I've learned. So for example, um, there's a chart of the character Characteristics of an 18th versus a 19th century American woman's cap, what I think my research shows. There's also uh, a glossary that has terms that I use for the pieces and parts of caps and kinds of caps, and then also stitches and a description of what each of these stitches is. And then at the very bottom, a series of videos that demonstrate some of the stitches I get the most questions about. For each cap that I describe, I follow a similar template. For example, this one from Genesee. I always start with the original and offer some photographs. These are study photographs. They're not professional, I'm not a professional photographer. <laughs> These are study photographs so that you can see what I saw. And then I talk about what questions that brings up for me or things that I don't know, still don't know the answers to. I include a portrait or two of an American woman wearing a cap very similar to the extant version. And then I talk about making a reproduction and I show you my successes and my failures and talk about the problems and um, intriguing pieces of each one, putting each one together. I include the notes, my notes, my original notes from when I was sitting in the museum. And if there's a pattern, I include that here too. I take a minute to thank the curators and volunteers who helped me every place I went. And I note if there is any other scholarship. You'll notice here this says final. That means that after version two, three, and four of this particular post, I am satisfied that this is as uh, exact and accurate as I can make it. So that's my blog. I'm a, uh, I'm happy that it's out there. It's free. It's for everybody. Please delve in, enjoy, read, come back with questions. I really look forward to um, talking to you about my research.